One one thing it made me think very much is the respect of the, the test. For example, uh, don't change legatura, don't change bow when it's written. We had a long discussion with Rudy, and Rudy gave me the most important lesson, technical lesson, with the bow. Because we were rehearsing a, a sonata, a Beethoven sonata, with the, with the play in, in Carnegie Hall, because the centenario, the commemoration of Beethoven. And in the sonata number 10, in the adagio, there is a legatura immensa, it never ends. So you, you don't have a, a ball like that. And I changed, and he stopped me and said, looking at me, you know, with his eyes like, but Pina, we cannot change Beethoven. You know, the respect eh, of the sun. And I said, but I, I can't. Oh, yes, you can. Try. And so the lesson, try very slowly, 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 slowly and go on and keep, in fact, I tried and, well, I was known for having the longest bow <laughs> in Marlboro. Mm. So that was a great lesson of not only the bow, but in, of the test, you know, yeah. the respect of the test. No change. On the other hand, it was funny because Casals, at that time, he said to me, What? To keep the bow? No, 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 no. You change, bow change. <laughs> so the opinion of two great artists was so different. And that means that you can do chiefly what you feel, knowing that you cannot change the meaning of uh, allegatura or punto. We um, learned the Beethoven sonata by heart, no music. But when we played in the audience, music with the stand, because he said that we don't have the mm, suspect to forget one punto or one, um, something. The respect. Great lesson. All uh, I learn all uh, learn all with um, even for the youngest. Why not? Everybody has something to say. Even, even if it is different, and, and the difference make interesting, and it open other vi uh, new new view, new new way to to look, uh, to hear, to look at the music, to hear the music new way you get from others. Vaccarini, <laughs> how did you become so involved with Vaccarini? How did that? Well, uh, my husband was a cellist and he, I heard for him, he was um, practicing at home and he practiced very often a uh, splendid adagio of uh, concerto by Bucherini. And just after the war, we were called from our Argentine Spain um, to substitute a group who was here, and it was called um, Le, Le Quintet Instrumental de Paris. So he said, why don't you do the same repertoire? Uh, at the tour is already organized, so it's a pity to lose 20 concerts. And we got the music, it was main, mainly French music. Mm, Milo, um, some other. And no, no Italian, not in Italian. The, the instruments were f f flute, violin, um, viola, cello and, and harp. Mm. I 
went down in the library in conservatorio to look at what could I find in something Italian, we were Italian, we wanted to play some. And suddenly it appeared to me Boccherin, the name of Boccherini, and I look, and in this um, piece it was the famous Fandango. I don't know if you heard the Fandango. Mm -hmm. We played here the Fandango in, in the first time. <laughs> So I arrange the part of the, the guitar for the harp with uh, <laughs> adding some glissando, something, you know, float uh, e un po' arrangiato così. And the success was enormous. Olé, olé, olé. <laughs> and, and then I was very curious. After the tournée, we we went to Paris, and in Place de la Madeleine, we saw a bouquinist, and we went inside, and the first time, uh, the first thing I, I saw was a, a, pila, una pila, pile. a pile, like that, and I opened the page and I saw Opere Complete di Boccherini. Opere complete. Tutte le opere complete di quintetti, quartetti, prime edizioni, first edition. Ah, our dream, no? Ma no money to buy this. Allora, we went to the Italian embassy and we told the ambassador what we saw, what we want to have. And he he paid for this volume, many volume I have at home, and he sent it by ambassad ambassad to Italy. And the first concert we ah that the, the important thing we we didn't know except the music of the fandango and some music for the cello. We didn't know about those quintet we had. And at that time, um, we were only two, violin and cello. And we bought, very difficult to buy that, the first machine with um, filo. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, Recording machine. Yeah, yeah. The, with the filo. The, the with the tape. Uh, no, no, it wasn't a tape. It was a um, uh, 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 filo. Uh, why? Wire. Yeah, yeah. It was the very first machine with a wire. Ah, okay. Recording. So, <coughs> we played first violin and first cello, and then second violin and second cello with the registrato, and, and at least we, we could hear uh, what was coming about. out. And for a month, we read all those music. Wonderful. And at that moment, we decided to uh, m make a quintetto because we thought we thought that this music should be heard because it was completely forgotten. <laughs> Even now, if you want to look to find Boccherini, the Italian um, Institute of Musicology um, edit some of my. Boccherini, which I take the, the cura. Uh, I revised. Uh, uh, I... Uh, but not all. And it's difficult to find. You have to go in the library. <laughs> and then the, the Quintetto Boccherini became very famous. Oh, yes. uh, when we played uh, for the embassy, the first concert in Paris, uh, the applause was so frenetic that we thought, oh, it may be we are crazy about Boccherini, but it, maybe it, the other people, no? And no, 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 all, all the people immediately, they like Boccherini <laughs> immediately. Because it's a, it's a music so, so beautiful in a, in a sense of melody, in a sense of a simplicity, in a sense of a fantasy, in every sense. It's a personality 
an Italian personality. And you know why Boccherini invented the, the quintet? Because when he was invited by um, in, by the, the, the Infante di Spagna, the son of Carlo III, Carlo III, um, to, to go and stay in residence uh, at the court, at that time the, was already in the residence a quartet. And Boccherini said, what, what I do? Here it is already a quartet. So he was, one morning came down with the music. He wrote it for be able to play with the others. So he played the fifth part of the quartet. And that, all the quintet, he wrote 147 quintet with two cellos. 147, I yeah. imagine. For more than 84 quartets. Long production, an opera, a zarzuela, symphonies, long production, long, um, long list of music, long, like Mozart, um, almost. And when you got the book of the collected works, it was all there, all of it? Almost all, almost the, what it was print mm -hmm. in Paris. It was print in, um, in Holland too, it was print in Genova, in, um, in Venezia. It was print, but some, <coughs> some is lost, some we couldn't find. And uh, there is a, an important um, catalogue made by Yves Gerard, a musicologue from Paris, who travelled all over the world and he went also to Russia because uh, somebody told that he might be in, in um, in um, at the Hermitage, the, uh, una parte of the mess, un messa, c'è una parte della messa, and I have the credo of the messa, but the messa is non complete. There are some music f lost forever. The concert for violino, there, it, there is a print that the concert is false, non, non concert for flauto, non false, falto. Uh, the concert for violino. I found the parts of the orchestra, but not the first violin part. Mm. This is lost. The only concert we wrote for violin. And not the part of the solo is no, is not there. Uh, 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 oh, Where did you somebody find stole it? <laughs> Where did you find the rest of it? And we search here and there, you know. Every 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 concert I trot in the library to look for the hair. You find things. You take yeah. time, but uh, it's interesting. Not only play, but uh, you know, for make some discovery and bring up something that was forgotten. And not only in Italy, you told me that you find a lot at the. Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris. In Paris, mais, much, 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 much. In, in France, they have almost everything. And here in, in, in Washington, I found the last page uh, he wrote for Quartet, the, the last page. And it's so beautiful. He, he was very sick at that time, before, uh, just one mon month before he died. He wrote this page so you cannot smile, you cannot avoid to smile. To hmm. Serene. Yeah. Serena. Bella. The Baccarini probably was not played here at all before you arrived. Yeah, no? and I'm proud to say that in my long uh, stay here, coming here. Every year I bought, I brought a new Boccherini quintet. Quintet because we had a quintet and I knew better quintet than quartet. And every year we, we are, if you look at the book, the red book, 
mm -hmm. of the concept. You see every year a new book in any contact. I don't know what it means. <laughs>